What's going on fellow rogues? This is Nasmare here and for this tutorial I want to walk you guys through this neat little website that I found not long ago called Streamladder. So to give some insight on what exactly Streamladder is, this is a program that allows you to take horizontally aligned clips that you have on your computer and change them over to a more vertically aligned aspect ratio that's far more suited for TikTok, Instagram Reels, as well as YouTube Shorts. And a big plus of this is that a lot of this is much more automated compared to you having to go into video editing software and doing everything manually. I mean, you can make these clips a lot quicker and in that sense, upload them a lot, you know, quicker and far more consistently. So if this video helps you guys out, I would deeply appreciate if you subscribe to me as well as hit that notification bell. I'll put you guys in the know about future live streams as well as video content I upload. So the first thing I want to do is I want to head over here to the pricing tab because this program is completely free. But I want to like show like you know what you get in both tiers. So the monthly plan for this, for the premium uh, tier of this, it's actually very cheap. It's only six dollars a month, and it gives you like all these extra perks right here. However, um, you'll be able to get along just fine, I believe, with the free tier. There are like some perks, like I said, to doing the monthly plan, and or yearly if you want to go that route, where it's a discount, it's five dollars a month. But I personally would probably say just go with the monthly, considering how cheap it is. But with the monthly, with like you know the free plan, you get. TikTok, YouTube, and Instagram, convert unlimited videos, no watermark, free templates, and 720p, 60fps aspect ratio. So, the other tier here, they're definitely like, you know, like I said, some perks to it, such as being able to use it on the phone, which I have, I myself haven't really done yet. But for the intents and purposes, I'm going to try to go through this in the sense that we're doing this with the free version of it, while just pointing out some of the, of the paid stuff that I've done, that I, I myself have used. So how we're going to start this off is to show you guys one of the two methods you can do this. You can either take a clip from your Twitch channel or you can upload a file from your computer. So the first one I want to do is, you know, the clip from the Twitch channel. Keep in mind, it's only, you know, through Twitch. You can't do this. Through, YouTube does have a, like, a clip function to it, but you can't do YouTube clips. You can only do this with Twitch. So I've already got one on my clipboard, so we're going to go right here and do this. And then we're going to go to get clip. So as you can see here, it gives you this little... Um, set of uh, templates you can use and explains you know which ones are locked behind the plus tier so small face cam circle face cam and game UI you can't use um, if you're on a free tier and even still the only one I really use from these from time to time is the game UI one because an example of my phasmophobia clip I have here I have a uh, size this up there's a heart rate monitor I use down there as you can see like in the lower left corner um, and what the game UI allows me to do is it allows me to clip out that heart rate monitor and put it next to my webcam so that way people can see my heart rate so I think that you know the paid tier would be good for that but otherwise most people most of you will more than likely be using either split if you're using a webcam or full screen if you're not using a webcam so for intents and purposes let's go with the one for split because a lot you know like chances are you're gonna be using a webcam and if not just I would say just go with the full screen one it basically full screen just takes out like the whole purpose like this t this uh section you know where you have to like you know align your webcam so in this part you can turn on the sound, which will allow you to more accurately gauge where you want to cut the clip off, like from the start and the beginning, like, you know, whatever, where, you know, be it if, like, there's someone else talking or you're talking and there's parts where you want to cut it out. You can do that here. Um, turning on the sound, it allows you to hear it, you know, so you can more accurately gauge it. In regards to selecting the aspect ratio, I would highly recommend going with Freeform because what this does is it allows you to um, take this, you know, the grid right here, move it around, like, to your webcam accordingly compared to, like, you know the other options it gives you like a lot more flexibility again it probably aligned to your webcam so right here looks good now we're gonna go over to select game feed now what this allows you to do is you have this little vertically aligned bar here that you can pretty much do like this obviously right here I want to have my follow goal like you know cut out and then you have like a grid right there so as you can see it does like a thing to show like that's centered in the middle so of course you can adjust that accordingly as well to where you want like the clip of where you're wanting, you, know, you want the clip the clip to show up so then we're going to go over to edit video. And now as you can see here, it's already done. The video pretty much is already uh, properly aligned. And I can go ahead and carry on from here. But one thing I do want to also point out is that you can uh, do stickers. This is a premium tier thing. But this is something I do want to point out to you guys that I think this actually in itself is kind of worth doing premium tier. Um, this and the 1080p aspect ratio, I feel, is um, the two key things that would make like the premium tier worth it. So with this, you can, you know, use stickers from Twitch, YouTube, and Facebook. The irony here is that I don't think I pointed this out, and I feel stupid for this, but one thing that I do like about this program is that there are a lot of photo and video manipulation software. There's a lot of photo and video manipulation software you see online where 
to use it without a watermark, it locks it behind a paid tier, which I think is like kind of shady if you think about it. It's like, you know, you're going to resize a, uh, resize a picture, you're trying to change the uh, file format for a video, so you're taking like your personal property and trying to change it to something that's more suited for what you want to use it for, then they slap this watermark on it, which just defeats the purpose of it. So this program doesn't do that. So the free version of it, there's no watermark. And ironically, the ability to put watermarks on your video is actually locked behind the, the pay tier, which I think is hilarious. The exception is, is that it's your own watermarks that you choose to put on there. So you can go to upload image where you can post your own um, like graphics you have like on your computer, or you can do library. So what I myself do is I stream on both YouTube and Twitch. So I pretty much take this sticker right here. As you can see, Twitch has like the most stickers out of like, you know, Twitch, YouTube, and Facebook. Facebook and YouTube only have four, and this one has seven. So I usually like take this one right here, and you can change the color of it as well. I usually just kind of go with like Twitch's, you know, standard, you know, purple, lavender, whatever that is. And what you'll do is you can pretty much, you know, put it over here on your you know where you want it to be I put it like right here on my face cam so it's out of the way of the gameplay and I kind of shrink it down like a good bit so it's not like taking up like a lot of space here and so once you kind of have like what you feel is probably like maybe aligned properly you can go over here to transfer tools and that gives you like a little bit more um leeway to kind of like try to get everything aligned so that right there it's kind of like you know just a little bit off center I think that's kind of good so what else you can do is you can take your webcam and you can also align it from both top to bottom. Obviously, considering that my sticker stayed right there, I would suggest that you have where you, if you want to put stickers on here, if you're on the premium tier, you want to make sure that you have your webcam. I would say probably like have, have your webcam aligned first before you did stickers. So that way you don't have to worry about them being like up here, like, you know, being out of place. So this is fine. And what we're going to do now is we're going to head on over to output settings. Because there was another thing here with the text. Um, I don't even really bother with text because I, you know, always like add text to my shorts and my TikToks um, through like the apps themselves, through like YouTube and uh, TikTok itself. So go back through stickers and output settings. And so again, this is a premium tier thing. Uh, normally you can only do 720p, but if you're on the premium tier, you can also do 1080p. But for the purposes of this, we're just gonna do 720p. And what we're gonna do now is we'll render the clip. So it's gonna take you to this mini, uh, this little. Uh, menu right here I'm gonna go ahead and skip on ahead okay so now that the video is rendered it brings us to this menu here so as you can see the video itself is done you can test it right here I'm gonna like do it without sound um, you can pretty much test it and this shows you like pretty much what it's more likely gonna what it should look like um, I think like the aspect ratio like how big your phone screen may possibly affect like how this looks I'm not entirely sure but from here you get these five options so you have send to TikTok and send to YouTube Shorts, which again, I, these are like two premium tier options. You can get a QR code, which I haven't really done. Save the cloud, which I believe will you know, put up here in the, this My Videos tab. And what I do, which is download. And there's a reason for this. Um, obviously, you know, with premium tier, you feel like you want like, you to send to TikTok and send to YouTube Shorts. I tried sending a video to, you, uh, to TikTok just to test it out. And it said, I think that the video was in like, you know, my queue on my TikTok channel but I never really saw it on there. So I don't know if that was a bug feature or I just wasn't using it properly. Obviously you guys can test it out for yourself if you've got the premium tier, but general, generally, I think that probably like, you know, the best option will be doing this like through download. Uh, like I said, you can try those out, but what I do is download. And so when you do this, it does the it posts the video right there and showing it right there for me, may do it different from you because I have like a VLC player on my thing and on my computer and it showed it like through that. But I use Google Chrome, so that as said, you know, that it pretty much automatically sent that video to a folder that I had um, pre-specified on my computer. And then from there, you will just take the clip that you now have on your computer and copy it over to your phone. And then you can upload it to TikTok, YouTube Shorts, Instagram Reels, whichever, you know, just like you would normally do for a video. So that's the way to do this with a Twitch clip. But the other way, and this is like the main way I do this, is just to upload a local clip. So I have like a whole folder right here of different... Um, clips that you know a lot some of these I already have on my phone some I've yet to uh, I've yet to put on my phone and a lot that I've yet to upload so you pretty much will just um, take one of these an example we'll do this one right here I did from grounded a few days ago and then do like right there and same as that process as if you were doing a twitch clip overall rogues that's basically um, how this program works um, we're gonna go back over here to this and then go to pricing because they have a mobile app, and I haven't really used that. Um, the premium templates, is only like a couple of them, really. I feel like really probably um, would really be good to use, or at least like the game UI one. 
but one of the main reasons I've, subscri I've subscribed to their uh, monthly, you know, premium tier is because, you know, is, is to support them. Because one of the key things that really, you know, swayed me towards them is the fact that they don't force a watermark on you to use the free version. Really, the main things they lock you out of is like using 1080p, which isn't really the end of the world because people are more than likely primarily going to be like watching your content through their phones anyway. So it's probably going to not really be much of a difference per se. And it kind of locks you out on being able to use stickers and using that, using it on the phone, which I haven't really tested the mobile app and sending the air result to your phone. So you can probably like upload it through your phone right there. But again, this is a very simplistic program that takes a lot of guesswork and a lot of time out of, you know, will be like a normal, a normal um, process of going into video editing software and doing all this manually because you'd have to go in and you'd have to get like the aspect ratio uh, aligned on your own, like uh, re realign your webcam and, you know, then like render the video. This does all that for you. So I feel this is like a very powerful you know, bit of software and it's just the fact that it's so cheap and also they have like a free version of it and the paid version is still like relatively, you know, it's very cheap. That's definitely a bonus and I absolutely love this program. Hopefully this video helped you guys out. I'm going to try to get some more tutorials out there sometimes in the future. I'm currently I'm on a hiatus from streaming, but when I do get back to that, I, you know, try to stream like every day except for Sunday for the most part. But again, this video helped you guys out. I deeply appreciate you guys subscribing as well. Hit the notification bell and I'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you so much for watching.